It is our great honor here at the feed to welcome actress and author of Kitchen Revelry, Allie Larder. Hi, Allie. Hi, guys. How are you? Hi. Great to We're see you. Good. Thanks for being welcome. on the feed. Thank you. Tell us exactly where you are. I'm in my trailer. Um, it's actually the first day shooting my new show called Legends. Wow. From this guy named Howard Gordon who created Homeland in 24. So I'm in between scenes. Are you doing a lot of big action scenes on the show where you need like extra serious energy? Yeah, I eat like every two to three hours because I get low blood sugar all the time. Like I'm always eating bananas and chunky, chunky peanut butter is my most favorite thing. Ah. You know, knowing that food on set can be a little tricky and also wanting to charm you and win you over, we have uh, a special delivery for you. Uh, right now, oh. I think it's going to happen. Oh my God, this is gorgeous. <laughs> See? From the three of us. Evan, thank you so much. You're it's a charcuterie it plate from Jones. Jones uh, on third. Salami and cheese, like, does it get any better? Some bresciola. Thank yeah. you. Of course, <laughs> of course. Will you tell us a little bit about Kitchen Revelry, um, specifically what inspired you to first decide to write a cookbook? When I'm home, I love to throw dinner parties. Like, that's what I do. I still cook three or four nights a week, whether I'm shooting or not. And, you know, Kitchen Revelry was really born out of this desire to and really inspire people to throw more dinner parties and not worry about the outcome. It's about embracing mistakes, not worrying about if things are perfect. Yes. Just have your friends over, cook, laugh, crack that extra bottle of wine. What is, like, the one tip you would give to someone who's just starting to host dinner parties who maybe doesn't feel super strong with cooking for a lot of people. I think that you need to be honest with yourself. Focus on what you're good at and then you can grow and then your confidence grows. I mean, you can't mess up things like an incredible guacamole. You know, there are certain yeah. things that you can't beat. Max so. can, but that's okay. Yeah. Most people can't, but Max kind of can. <laughs> <laughs> this is a tradition on the feed. We ask all of our celebrity guests to play a little game with us called Mary Screw Kill. We're gonna give you okay. three ingredients, and of those three ingredients, you have to tell us which one you would marry, meaning you have to eat it for the rest of your life, <laughs> which one you'd like to have one incredible one-night stand with. Okay. Or finally, which of the three you want to banish from your palate for all time. Okay. So the ingredients are mozzarella, meatballs, okay. and peanut butter. Oh, God, I love them all. That's really hard. Um, I am going to... Marry meatballs. Good choice. Yeah. Yes. I like that choice. I'm gonna I'm gonna shag mozzarella. Nice. Right. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to kill my peanut butter. I won't oh. get it anymore. You said you oh, loved no. it. No. Oh, By the end of this TV game. show, I'll be done with it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much, Allie, for taking the time to talk to us. We really love chatting with you. Thank you so much for having me on. I hope to see you soon. All right. Bye, Allie.